the sky was on fire. John looked up at the apocalyptic scene unfolding before his eyes and knew that this was the end. The end of the world. He had always known it would come to this. The signs had been there for years. But he never thought it would be like this. He turned to his wife, Jane, who was standing beside him, and saw the fear in her eyes. John knew that they had to find shelter, and fast. Come on, he said, grabbing her hand. We have to find the others. John and Jane ran through the streets, hand in hand. They could hear the screams of the dying all around them, and the ground was shaking with the force of the explosions. They reached the meeting spot where they were supposed to rendezvous with the rest of their group. Bob, Sarah, Dave, and Tim were all there, waiting for them. Thank God you made it, Tim said. What do we do now? Sarah asked, her voice shaking. We need to find a safe place to hide, John said somewhere underground. They all knew that there was only one place that would be safe from the bombs falling from the sky. The bunker. They all ran towards the bunker, knowing that it was their only chance of survival. John entered the code to open the door, and they all rushed inside. The bunker was dark, and it took their eyes a few moments to adjust. When they could see again, they all looked around at their new home. It was small, but it was safe. And that was all that mattered. They all settled into the bunker, making it as homey as they could. They knew that they had to ration their supplies, so they made sure to only use what they absolutely needed. They had to stick together to survive. And that's what they did. They all stuck together and survived the end of the world. They all decided to stay together in the bunker and rebuild the world. The group started to rebuild the world. They formed a community and started to build new homes. They plant new crops and started to repopulate the world. They started to build a new society and started to create new laws. They built a new world, better than the one before. 